We are here at the Festival of the Arts and I'm so excited. We just got our little figment, little scavenger hunt map. And so there's all these little paintings and you find them in all the countries and then put them where they belong, just like the Olaf one and the Remy one. But I can't wait to get started.
I just got home from the festival. It was literally so much fun and I got to try the Encanto food. It was literally so good. I had a great time, but we were there forever and I'm like exhausted now. I was planning on going back tomorrow because there was a few things I saw that like I was with a big group of people so I didn't wanna like stop every single time I saw like an artist booth and like check it out. So I definitely do wanna go back. I have tomorrow off and I was planning on going tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain all day and the high is supposed to be 60. So I'm not sure if that's the move, but I'll definitely keep you updated. If not, I'll do a little baby haul from today and give you a better update, but that's pending whether I go back tomorrow. So you can probably tell by whether this video ends now or not what happens, but I'll let you know. It's the next morning and guess who's going back to Epcot? It's me because I love the Festival of the Arts. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going with Brie before she goes to work. We're gonna have a little buddy day, a little date. And it's like really gross outside. So I'm hoping the rain holds off. It's like in the 50s, but hopefully we'll have fun. We gotta get your review. This is Picture video, video oh, from the Encanto booth, the chorizo and potato mm. empanada. I just got all bread, so I'm gonna get another hit. Mm. Yeah, it's not like a mustard, but I think it's a chipotle sauce and some sort of an aioli. Is it chipotle? Yeah. Oh, is it spicy? Let's see. Oh, I don't remember it being too bad. Very hearty. Very savory. I'm getting a lot of meat. I haven't broken the potato sound barrier yet. <laughs> Very warm. I give it like a 8.25 out of 10. It's a solid score. Not spicy. <laughs> it's so good. What's like your review? A little bit of spice, but not too spicy. You know? Um. The chorizo is very good. I usually don't like chorizo, but whatever they did to this is so good. It's got like different vegetables in it too. And potatoes. I would give it, honestly, because the cheese empanadas in Mexico have my heart, so they get a 10 out of 10. So I think this one gets a, like a nine out of 10. Wow. It's very close. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. Seven foot tall rats. <laughs> Yummy. What is this one called? This is a braised beef short rib from Germany with a parsnip puree, broccolini, and baby potatoes. Tomatoes. Baby tomatoes. I would give this a 9.899999. What a high score. Best, best of the fest. For best sure. of the fest. Disney food ball? You heard it here first, folks. Best of the fest. I am Disney food blog. This is a farts champion. <laughs> I just dropped Brie off at work at the Mexico Pavilion and now I'm gonna go back around the World Showcase and just check it out a little bit more and I really want to go to the Thomas Kincaid little tent because he's my favorite but it was really busy the first time around so I'm just gonna head around again and see what I see. So I just went to the Thomas Kincaid little tent and I got another little baby and it was really cool because one of the Thomas Kincaid Studios gallery artists was there. Her name was Jenna. She was there for like signing the pieces. And so she drew a little character on the back and signed it. I'll definitely show you guys, but it was like so special. I love getting to do that. And I'm just gonna keep heading around the World Showcase. Back in my apartment again. Just got home from Epcot and i definitely got rained on but still had a really good time and i'm very glad that brie convinced me to go with her this morning 
So I'm just gonna do a little bitty baby haul of what I got in the past two days because I love art. I'll start with what I got today and then I'll do what I got yesterday because what I got yesterday was like the biggest investment. Um, but today, ooh, but I got a Hunchback of Notre Dame Quasimodo print and I got this from the Art of Disney store it, in the America Pavilion. And so this is a store that's there all the time. And I just think it's really beautiful. Again, we're back at it with the purple and yellow color scheme because apparently that is what I enjoy. And I also enjoy Hunchback of Notre Dame. So that was purchase number one. And the prints typically are about $39.99. So if you're buying art from the Disney stores or the Disney run booths, then you will still get your cast discount, annual pass discount, DVC discount, what have you. But then if you're buying it from the artist booth, like the artist is running their own booth, then it's up to them whether they want to take the Disney discounts or not. So for that one, since it was at the Art of Disney, I did receive my 40% cast discount. So we love that. And then the next thing I got was from the Thomas Kincaid booth because we all know how I love him and I got this beautiful canvas print and then so of course like we have all the characters in here we have Cruella de Vil over here behind a tree and then all the assorted horses and dogs that help them on the escape during the midnight bark if you will and then all the puppies are escaping Rolly is like pushing himself through the little fence but if you're noticing a pattern, we have the purple and yellow color scheme that apparently is what my whole decor theme is going to be now. And then what's really special about this one is that since I bought it at the booth while they had an artist there, um, Jenna McMullins, yes, she was there and she was like drawing little characters on the back of your piece for you. So I had her draw Perdita for me, so cute. And then she signed it down here at the bottom. And it was really awesome to get to meet her and be able to talk to her because she's like maybe not too much older than me and she's an artist at the Thomas Kincaid Gallery Studios. That's pretty cool. But we love this. And now this is my second Thomas Kincaid piece that I have signed and a character on the back. And then we get to another beautiful, wonderful artwork that I bought yesterday when we went. This one is by Kaylee Hicks and it's entitled Festival of Friends. And this one's another canvas print, but I am super pumped about it because it is number three out of 95 for this edition. I'm going to have to look up, whoops, whether it is like a limited edition or if this is just the current edition. So, but anyway, the fact that it says three out of 95 makes me feel pretty special. We love art. I don't know if I need to point this out, but it's got the purple and yellow color scheme. I'm just like really drawn to this recently because it makes me so happy because yellow is my favorite color and it goes so well with purple. But anyway, as you can see, I'm very excited about the Festival of Arts and I can't wait to go back 80 million more times, even though I'm only here for literally two more weeks, but I don't wanna talk about it, but I can guarantee you that pretty much every day I can, I will be at Epcot. Also, I wanted to show you guys the prize for this little figment scavenger hunt that we did. I got a paint your own figment statue. And for the prize, we had the option between figment, Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy. But I chose figment since he's kind of the star of the Festival of the Arts. And so that was super fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for staying to the end and watching my little baby haul of my little baby babies that I just purchased. And please follow me on Instagram at Lauren Rose and stay tuned for the rest of my apparently only Epcot Now journey and the rest of my DCP.